So in this video we're going to go over teamwork and the first thing that we have to understand is the meaning of a team and also teamwork. So let's start. What is a team? So when we are talking about a team, it is simply a group of people with complementary knowledge and skills. So one important word is group of people. And now these are not just ordinary people. They are a group of people with complementary. Okay, that's complementary knowledge and skills. They have got the knowledge that they can use for them to achieve the goal of the team. And also they have got the skills. You don't have just people can do one thing, like everyone can sing. No, you have singers, you have got you have got also writers, you've got a lot of different skills that are there and when are those skills are brought together they are now going to make up a team that can fulfill a common goal so groups of people with complementary knowledge and skills another important word is which are committed so i'm putting down keywords here we need to understand so which are what committed well committed to what to a common goal So a common goal or a common purpose. Apart from them being committed to a common goal and they are mutually accountable. One important word again, mutually accountable. That means they ask each other, they look at each other, did we fulfill our duty? For example, they are going to assign duties to each other. And so if someone doesn't fulfill their duty, you'll be asked. Why didn't you fulfill the duty? So that means to be accountable. So it is not just one person who has been tasked to be asking this, why is your duty not done? Mutually accountable. Every member of the team has got that right to ask the other, why is this not done? So where it is not done now, they come to they come together and make sure that something is supposed to be done. So a group of people with complementary knowledge and skills, which are committed to a common goal, and are mutually accountable. So that is a team. Now, what is teamwork? If we know what a team is, what is teamwork? So teamwork is simply shared responsibility and collaboration. You know, you want to do a lot of things, but you don't want to do it alone. So you get to share. Some responsibilities are shared. So teamwork is shared responsibility and collaboration. You get to come together. You collaborate. So why are you collaborating towards a common goal? So you share uh, these responsibilities and all the collaboration. You come together. That is towards a common goal. You have got something in common. It's not like this one has got something they want to do. This one, they've got something to do. That is a group. Now, we are talking about a team. A team, you have got something in common that you want to achieve. So, there are basically five characteristics of a team and these we need to have them by mind. So, what are the five characteristics of a team? The first characteristic of a team that we need to be aware of is shared values. Apart from the shared values as a characteristic of a team, there is also mutual trust. And save that, apart from mutual trust, there is also inspiring vision. After inspiring vision, there are also skills and then reward. So these are the characteristics of every team. So a team should have shared values. 
So if one person considered this as what is important, what they're supposed to do, every member of the team is supposed to do also the same. So different people get to share their values, what they think is supposed to be done, and what they think is right to be done. So those things, they get to share them and put them, those are the ones which are going to be leading the team. So each member is not led by only what he gets to think is right. You get to bring together the values. The second one, mutual trust. So members of the team trust each other. Even in times of need, one person can interact with the other, the member of the team, so that they are able to help. Remember, these are the people who are going towards a common good. So if I'm not able to do it, then even the next person is affected. So to make sure that I do it, I'm going to also be able to ask the next person. So for me to ask to, from the next person, I need to make sure that I trust them. Even some things I'm not able to do, I can tell them, please come on board. I need help in this. So that is having trust for people. And the other thing is inspiring vision. That is one very important thing of a team. There is an inspiring vision. There is something that is pushing you as a team. Where are we going as a team? What do we want to see as a team at the end of it all? So there should be a vision. And that vision is inspiring. Because Imagine your your aim is none of your interest. Your aim is just discouraging you. You will not go anywhere as a team. So it should be a vision that is inspiring. Apart from that, a team has got skills. So there are different skills. Different members of the team can do a lot of things. You can have a carpenter. You can have a physician. You can have a teacher. You can have this. They come together now to say, let's achieve one thing for example different people can come together to say at the end of it all we need to make sure that everyone has got proper sanitation and they've got different skills this one can build this one can dig this one can teach this one is a physician or a doctor so different skill comes together and then at the end of it all you see a common good being done and at the end of each teamwork there is a reward Remember, there is a vision that you are looking to. And to every vision fulfilled, there is a reward there. So after doing that, there is going to be a reward. So these are basically the characteristics of a team that we need to be familiar with. So apart from that, now let's get to look at the essential components of a team. What are some things that a team must have? What are the components of a team? So one important thing, team members must have a scoreboard. Very, very important. So there is need of a scoreboard. So why is this one there? Apart, so if you don't have a scoreboard, you should have a scoreboard or even a benchmark. Or even just the standards. Okay. Now, why do you get to have a scoreboard, a benchmark, or standards? So, these are just that to make sure that you are pointing to them to see if you are fulfilling what you've put. If you do something, get to tick. If you fulfill one promise or one aim or vision of the team, get to tick. Where you cannot tick, make sure that you look. You see, why are we not able to do this until you get to fulfill that? So that is one essential component of a team. You need to have standards where you are looking to, to compare what you are doing with what you are supposed to do. That is why you need a standard. And that's why we need a scoreboard to make sure that we are taking where we are doing it and where we are failing to do it. Where we fail, then we see what we are able to do about it. Apart from that, a team must define the identity by the way of values. So just what you get to set as your values as a team, that is going to define your identity. We know that we get to tell people by the kind of life they get to lead. There are other people who are strictly following their values. And those people will define them by their own values. No, you can't, you can't speak to about that story when it comes to that person. He's a man of God. So you know their values and that is why you cannot speak about some things when they are there. 
ah that one ah, you are talking about that person that one you can just do this those are their values those are the things that you've put they've put and so you get to identify them by what they get to do because we tell by what person gets a, pe a person gets to do and obviously what you get to do should be your values so a team must define their identity by the way of their values so these are the components of every team you should define your identity by the way of your values and also have a scoreboard at which you are going to be looking when you get to do it or when you get to fulfill what you've planned now let's look at some advantages and disadvantages of a team so starting i'm going to put advantages here and then on the other side i'm going to put disadvantages So let's get started. What are some of the advantages of a team? So one important advantage of a team is it is easy to achieve goals. Very, very easy to achieve goals. That is because you have got a collaborative effort. There are a lot of ideas that have come on board. If you cannot do it, another person is going to come. Another person is going to push you. Not until you get to do it because you are all going to the same thing. For example, you can make a DME study group your aim is to make sure that everyone gets to understand the course so that is going to make sure that you get to achieve the goal because you're going to be asking a lot of questions on that same course your aim is to make sure that everyone gets to pass so it will be very easy to achieve rather than you are just alone so that is one advantage of uh, a team apart from that there's also motivated workforce what does it mean? When you're talking about motivated workforce is, you know, there are times when you want to do something, but you don't have that much strength to do it because there is no inspiration. There's no one to encourage you. But when you're in a team, there will be a workforce, a motivation for you just to do what you're supposed to do. For example, every member has been tasked. This is what you're supposed to do. That is one thing of about a team. Each member has got a task. So if you you feel you will not be able to manage it, there is someone at least who is going to force you. Not really like forcing as something that is bad, but just giving you that motivation, that strength to be able to work. So that is one advantage of a team. But imagine you are just alone. When you are very tired, you might just say, okay, let me just get to sleep because I'm tired. So that makes you just get to end there, which is making you that is going to make you not to fulfill your what your aim as you get to do something alone and apart from that there is also increased effectiveness so teamwork increases effectiveness that is one important thing also about teamwork it increases effectiveness So about, apart from this, which we are talking about as effectiveness, when we are talking about teams, there is also, you know, like a lot of things are going to be achieved just in effectiveness here. A lot of things are going to be achieved. Why? You have got a lot of people. A lot of people are there working. A lot of people are there to inspire each other. There are a lot of skills. So where there is a lot of skill, there's going to be effectiveness. Now imagine you, you are just in a group where every person has got their own. Remember, I've said group, not team. Every person can only do the same thing. Everyone can just sing. What if, if you want someone to write? Who is going to write? So you will not be that effective because you only have one thing to do. But in a team, there's effectiveness because there are a lot of skills and a big energy is generated because of a lot of people who are present with different skills so because of this there is increased effectiveness in working and apart from that teamwork creates high quality outcomes well, something that is very important high quality outcomes what is going to come out of teamwork is going to be of high quality remember there are a lot of people with different skills 
So when you get to put a lot of skills together, even the things that you are going to do, things that is going to come out, these are things that are going to have high quality. That is because if someone, the idea that someone was getting to give was getting out of hand or it, is, it was ineffective, another person is going to come in and say, but okay, I'm specialized more in that. We, I think we can do this. And that is going to increase quality in delivery and getting towards your, what, your goal. So that is one more important thing about a team. So it makes sure that there is high quality and there is more efficient and thoughtful, effective, as well as there is fast operation, just in high quality. There is also fast operation. That is because you are a lot. Not just because of the number, you have also skills. Trust me, if they say make a plan, even if we are a thousand of us, if we don't know, if we don't have that skill, or not do it but in a team there are people with different skills that is why there is also increased speed of working so there's also individual benefits that is one advantage also so individuals benefit from teamwork through mutual support and a great sense of accomplishment imagine you are doing this thing and you get to fulfill it as a team or as an individual, you are also going to benefit because you are part of the team. Apart from that, you know, you just have that great sense of accomplishment. You are just inspired. So you are, you are going to have that inspiration of just getting to work much harder and also getting just to work with a lot of people. So that is also another benefit. So there is just also that support that people get to gain when they are in groups. Not just male groups, but in teams so that also is a benefit just that support so these are some of the advantages of a team now let's go to look at some disadvantages of a team well we're not talking about disadvantages at times the social aspect the social aspect can be a disadvantage when you're talking about social this has to do just with the relationship of people you know in a group where there are a lot of people just where people are gathered there are some misunderstandings there maybe there is some hate you get to hate each other so hate performance because you think you are doing it better than others you get to shout at them and you get to to put yourself on top like that some those things get to happen so because of that just the social aspect is a disadvantage because there will be a lot of hate and some interpersonal conflicts. Maybe you get to argue with this person because of personal issues and such. So that is one disadvantage. Because when you are working alone, you will not argue with yourself. You just understand even if you don't fulfill something. But where people gather, there is always those kinds of conflicts. Apart from that, if there is poor team design, there's going to be a lot of failure. Like if the, there's poor team design. Imagine in the team, the team is so big like the size of the team. If it is very big, that is a poor team design. Apart from that, the skill set. Everyone in the team has got only the same skill. All are writers. Now all are going to do the other thing if everyone is a writer. So there's also poor skill set. And also if there is poor assignment roles or negative or just like negativity, that is going to affect the team's ability to accomplish purposes. So just the design of the team really contributes to its ineffectiveness and so that is a disadvantage. Well, thank you so much and in this tutorial we are going to end here. Hope this was helpful. Please, if it was, be able to subscribe and also share to your friends so that they also get to learn together enjoy your day